This video will show you how to add a location page to your Project Assist project. First, click on Build from the Project Assist homepage. You can also click on Manage Dashboards from the tabs at the top of the screen. At the left, you'll see the project tree you created in the Manage Navigation section. Applicable nodes in the project tree have gray or white edit buttons next to them. You can click either color of button to start editing a location page. The white buttons indicate that a page exists, and the gray buttons indicate that you haven't created a page yet. Click the gray or white button next to a location node. The location page editor opens. When you create a page, the first thing to do is always to add an image. This image is the base building block of your page. To add an image, just drag the image file to the specified area and click Next. The second step is to add zones to the image. Zones can become clickable areas that open other pages, or they can become visual overlays that are linked to your data. To add zones, first choose a layer group. If these zones will illustrate data using a color-coded layer, choose the appropriate layer group for that data. In this example, I'm going to create zones for navigation, so I will select Create New Layer Group and name my new group Navigation. Later in the video, I will also show you how to make a color-coded overlay using the HVAC layer. After you've chosen a layer group, draw your zones. Choose the Draw tool and click once for each vertex of the polygon. Double-click to add the last vertex. If you want to delete a zone, just choose the Select tool and select the zone, then right-click it and select Delete. You can also click Select, click the zone, and then click the Delete tool. If you want to fine-tune the points in a zone, click the Edit Zone tool and drag the vertices. You can also right-click an individual vertex to delete it. To add a vertex, just double-click. You can change the size of the vertices to make editing easier. When you have created zones, you can bind a node from your project tree to each zone. These bindings are necessary for navigation using this zone and for any visual layers you have specified. To bind a node to a zone, just click the Binding Tree tool and drag the appropriate node to the zone. In this example, location nodes are being dragged to the navigation zones. In the deployed application, when the user clicks a zone, the page for the bound location will open. Finally, you can add widgets to your location page. Click Next or select the Widgets tab. To add widgets, drag the widgets from the bottom of the screen onto the page. For this Building Exterior page, I'll add a Weather widget. I'll right-click the widget and enter a postal code to display data for this region. When you are done adding widgets, click Submit to save all of your changes. To preview the page you just created, click the location in the project tree. Hovering over the zone tells you what node is bound to it, and clicking it navigates to that node in the project. If the bound node has a device template or location page defined, that content is opened when you click the zone. Let's create one more location page. This time, we'll use zones for a data-driven, color-coded overlay. Again. Click the button in the project tree to open the page editor. Add an image and click Next. Select the appropriate layer for the data. In this case, I'll use temperature data, so I'll choose HVAC. Draw the zones. When the zones are drawn, Bind device nodes to the zones, then click the blue button to open the layer manager. Here, you can specify the device point to associate to this layer for each device template that you created in Manage Navigation. Now the zone fills are determined by the data at the specified points. Click Next to add widgets. 
drag the widgets from the bottom of the screen. I'll add callouts for each room and bind the device nodes to the callouts. Because the temperature layer is currently selected, the callouts are displaying the point that we defined for this layer. Project Assist lets you add charts, gauges, and more. To learn about all of the Project Assist widget types, see the Project Assist wiki.